just go in here. Visiting a lot of archaeological sites around Greenland to understand what is going to happen to these. Also try to understand what's going to happen when temperatures increase, when there's changes in, in how much precipitation you get, when there's changes in, in the vegetation. This is really a, a highly complicated place because you are inside a small settlement, so there's people living here, there's sheep walking around, uh, a lot of tourists are walking around. So how do you actually point out that this is due to climate change and this is just natural? Um, so, so that's what we try to do and, and do it in a, like a scientific way. The most people look at Greenland as just one very cold Arctic place, but it actually is there's a huge difference from here and up to Lulisat. So, so this is subarctic and up there it's Arctic. 卡斯亚苏克人数虽然不到百人，但却是格陵兰历史上的重要一环。包括公元十世纪的维京人曾在此居住，其盛时期周遭区域活动人数高达上千人。眼前这个布拉塔利兹教堂遗址也是联合国指
，即便是北部努克诺利特遗址，状况也很严重。There's actually some re、uh, like a lot of human erosion going on here as well. A lot of children are using this area to play in. You can actually see over here how this ruin is slowly falling down over here. Nolita 遗址覆盖的是在18世纪时从欧洲大陆远渡而来的摩拉维亚教派，跟当时因纽特人在殖民时期的小型聚落。埋藏在土壤中的物质能靠放射性探定碾法等科学方式找到解答，但格兰国家博物馆馆员 c h r i s t i n e 用手往土里一挖，就能找到类似海豹的骨头。These bones have been completely, they've been、um, experienced in all kinds of different weather. So if you look in, you can see I can actually bend it without its breaking. 他解释，频繁的人类活动也会让土壤温度升高。造成考古遗迹的分解，遗址正快速崩溃中。And that means that all of the 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 human waste, the human activity, the animal bones, the skin, everything that used to be preserved in the cold, is now、um, slowly disintegrating in the heat. 随着 Christine 行走在高高低低的努克海边，差不多的离海距离，差不多的茂密野草。加上永冻土的消失，都显示格陵兰约五千五百个遗址都面临同样难题。学者有强烈使命，但也有更深的无力感。And then we're trying to use that to model how climate change is affecting all of Greenland. So we have more than six thousand sites,、um, and we are only seven archaeologists here at the Greenland National Museum. We can't do anything. Here in the Arctic, it is nature that decides what happens. We cannot say that the archaeology is is disappearing because it's 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 you can with a glacier you can see it with your own eyes it's melting, but here we have things that are hidden beneath the ground. So it's and that's also our fear that if you have a site and you come back in 20 years, it's just completely gone. 尤其在疫情肆虐跟乌俄战争之后。考古学家们很清楚，筹措到大笔且及时的资金来保护遗址，顺序势必很后面。团队也引进无人机的光谱热像仪调查技术，可以更快速以及更大规模的取得影像与数据。So we are also hoping、uh, to be able to develop this sort of machine learning algorithms, so we could sort of scan all of Greenland for new sites based on the vegetation and based on on, on some of the other factors that we see now. 在气候变迁扰乱、击溃一切之前，唯有持续做、不间断执行，包括跟当地社区讨论、合作，才是开始抢救的唯一契机。They have maybe a whole different view on what is important. So it's like you need to talk to all the different stakeholders. You also have the tourist industry. So all stakeholders need to sit together and sort of decide what is. Yeah, what's important? There's still time to to at least do something about it. Everything will not disappear tomorrow. It's we still have a long 